So this section is about to create the G code file for the machine uh, from uh, Flatcam and uh, uh, about uh, the uh, Exelon file. So this one is uh, all the file that gives us all the instruction how to create uh, the holes for the components the, of the circuit. So this is quite I want to focus the attention of this file because actually it's uh, uh, a little bit articulated to uh, with the parameter to gives and um, all the things. So as we can see here, I want to see here, there is the tool number and each tool number is associated the diameter of the tool which actually going to generate the holes for uh, each component. Now, we can uh, actually uh, operate in two different ways. First of all, the, the global parameter. Okay, cat Z, zero, one is not enough. This one is uh, actually um, uh, numbers and the values given in uh, inches. We are working in millimeters, so we need at least two millimeters here. The travel over the uh, uh, circuit board, as usual, I gave five millimeters, and the speed to use is uh, 60 or 30 millimeters. Okay, I mean, sometimes we are going to use very thin uh, drills tip. If you go too fast, maybe it's going to stress too much the tip of the drill. So uh, I think that 30 millimeter per minute is okay the spindle okay this one is 12 as usually give the optimistic value now to generate uh, the Exelon file uh, G code Exelon file for the machine to create the the holes for the components we have uh, uh, we can uh, actually uh, operate in two different uh, ways one is uh, to select each uh, tool here uh, for each diameter and generate the uh, relative uh, g-code file so for example now i take this one is uh, 0701 uh, uh, i generate i just with the same uh, parameter values that I gave before I generate a file and if I go down here the file generated is drill this uh, this file here okay I can rename just to have a reference which was uh, the file I usually do in this way Yes, uh, oh, zero 01 because it was uh, tool zero 01, and then I specify the diameter which was zero point seven zero one. Uh, the tool diameter is uh, we had to give this zero here, is always is a zero zero seven zero one. Um, as usual here I gave S equals just to have the spinning uh, parameter to for the motor and then I generated the code I normally use in this way also just to have a go good reference for the file and, and with the name so I do co copy the name and generate the G code then I paste here and uh, I am going to have with uh, extension NC, which uh, are the extension that uh, are easy to read by the application I'm going to use is B, C, and C, and which reads well the NC extension. So I give the name of the file zero zero two. Two, and then it's uh, 0 0.7 as usually here to change accordingly 
Okay, now you, you got the, the picture, right? So we have to do all the same thing for all the other uh, values here and generate uh, the relative file. So by using this approach, what we are going to create is a sequence of files where each file is pertaining to the uh, relative tool. So in this case, so we have 0, 7, 0, 1, 0, 7, 12, 0, 7, 98. When we are going to create all these uh, G files, we actually have to go, uh, the machine stops when it's process one files, the machine stops, we have to change the tool. For example, here file, file the tool number four generate 0, 9 millimeter, we have to choose the correct tool to create the correct hole. This is an approach. This is probably is a good approach because uh, we uh, do the whole relative to each uh, tool. Another way to uh, operate is uh, quite different because we had to select all the tools and then, then keep all this uh, parameter Mm, as it is now because they are always good so it's uh, valid for the for this approach too and then we have to uh, generate uh, the file as we can see here we have this new file and this file is actually containing all the um, instructions to uh, create uh, the holes so all the holes not just for one tool, it's all the holes. How do we create these holes? Okay, now we see here uh, the, how to specify the criteria to use to the value to uh, specify for uh, creating the holes. What we are going to do, as we saw before, the machine is just to create the holes. So it's like a normal drill, it's going up and down and create holes relative to each tool. In this case, instead, we have to choose a correct tool diameter because the machine, what it is going to create uh, is not just a hole. For example, if we have a hole in 9 millimeter, we don't have to use the uh, uh, tool of 9 millimeter. We have to use a very small tool which just create a hole in the middle and then it's, uh, create a spinning around to create a, a nine millimeter hole. The tools from the previous uh, uh, way we saw before is also different because the tool before was just a, a drill tip and uh, which actually made to create hole. While in this way, with this approach, we had to use a tool that actually carves. So, is a tool that creates a hole and then it has to spinning around, going around to create the hole uh, uh, required. Uh, it should be the tool a very uh, quite small, relative small tool to the uh, to the holes created. So if you have zero zero or seven zero one, I think, the smallest before was a 0, 7, 0, 1. So we had to use a carving tool, which has probably maybe 0, 5. Or uh, yes, I think 0, 5 could be okay. So it's a 0, 5 hole that started to create a hole and then uh, uh, moving around the machine to create the 0, 7, Hole. So when we had to specify here the tool diameter, we probably had to say 0, 0.5 and use a carving tool of 0, 0.5. As usual here also we had to specify 12. And then we can export the code. So remember the two different approach. The one, the first one we saw it was just to uh, go back create this one, just to select each tool and, gen and then generate 
the relative uh, uh, G file for uh, uh, each tool. Uh, the second one instead is to select all the, the tools and then generate the uh, a global file that is not do to drill um, with a, a hole but it's just to carve actually just to create a small hole and then going around to create a relative hole for each uh, component i think this is enough and uh, for the creation of uh, pc boards um, at least for one layer of the PC board that we saw. Then the top layer is uh, quite straightforward. We don't have to mirror anything. Is um, as we get from uh, uh, ECIDA, we can use with the same criteria, the same uh, uh, methodology we used with the bottom layer. So that's it for now. Uh, catch you later.